Welcome everyone to the King of the Palace, presented by New Palace Lanes in Fitchburg, Massachusetts, sponsored by North End Mazda Subaru in Lunenburg, Massachusetts. On this episode of the King of the Palace, Brandon Marks faces the number three seed, Brian Fuller Jr. Should be a great match between two great Candlepin bowlers, so let's get to the action. I'm Dennis Nuzzo, standing here with this week's bowler. Last week, Brandon Marks, to my left, defeated the number five seed, Jonathan Boudreau. Welcome back. Thank you. And to my right, the number three seed, with a roll-off score of 403, Brian Fuller Jr. Welcome, Brian. How you doing? What are your thoughts about bowling against Brandon? It's going to be a tough one either way. And Brandon, your thoughts about bowling against Brian? Yeah, exactly. Same sentiments. Uh, Brian's been on fire, so going to have to go out there and probably go at least 260. All right, great. Well, I'll see one of you in the 11th box, and I'll see everyone then. Up first on alley three, Brian Fuller. First yep. time here. First yep. time. Yep. No one, yeah. His high average is a 128. First ball. His high single is a 224. His high trip is a 474. Dennis, in your opinion, that six pin fall, excuse me, four pin falling, did it help him or hurt him? One less for a spare, right? Yeah, one less for a spare, but it doesn't continue to chain when you're trying to hit like the four horsemen. Yeah, they can bounce the. Right. Yeah, okay. So you, you, your, your preference would have been to have it stay on. Correct. Yep. I understand. Thank you. Ryan's qualifying score was a 403. Right, right, right. He bowls on. Tuesday night, he bowls at Academy Lanes in Haverhill. Wednesday night, he bowls at Leo's. And then Friday night, he's a sub for Riverwalk Pro League. Riverwalk is actually where he has his high single. His home alleys are Riverwalk Lanes. Um, and that's also, Riverwalk is also the home of uh, Classic Candlepins. Which he is a regular on, Brian Fuller Jr. Looks like he's a veteran Candlepin bowler, right-handed, three-step approach, deliberate. And nailed the two pin. Nice. No wood needed. Nice opening. Two boxes. Up now the number four seed who defeated Jonathan Boudreau last week in an epic battle. Brandon Marsh. Unbelievable bowl. What a great match. Great match. What was it, 282 to 278 or something Correct. like that? Correct. Yeah, both bowlers had 12 marks each. Overall average, 140 for both bowlers. Brandon's Absolutely qualifying perfect. score was a 402. Oh, back on the head pin again. A little thin on that one, but... He's left a triangle left with the 10. 4, 7, 8 in the 10 with some wood resting up. Uh, and, uh, you got to play the three in the corner, right? With yeah. Great. yeah. Yeah. Well, while he studies this, David, a good shout out to our sponsor, our good friend up there, Marty Babin. Oh, wow. wow. Right. I don't know if he did that on. That was surprising. Yeah. Yep. I don't know if he did that on yep. purpose. Or... Uh, shout out to our sponsors, North End Master Subaru, Lunenburg, Massachusetts. Our good friend, Marty Babin. Appreciate it. Seven box for Brain in the stat. Yeah, when you're online looking for uh, King of the Palace on YouTube or Facebook, uh, swing by and visit uh, buynorthend.com. Want to say thank you to all of uh, the viewers out there on local access TV. How many we are now? 15? 15 cities and towns. How um, many subscribers, Dennis? I'm looking it up right now as you speak. Yeah. Hey, Dennis, move All the viewers on. YouTube and Facebook, thank you for the comments. We are at 285 subscribers. Dennis, when we get a break, could you explain that to the people out there who uh, exactly what a subscriber is? Well, at least for me, too, to clarify it. Basically, they go on um, the King of the Palace channel on YouTube yep. and hit subscribe. And yep. anytime a new video is posted, it sends them a notification saying a new oh. video is up to watch. Thank you, Dennis. Thank you. Okay, so the tent. It, that, that's something that the outstanding executive producer, Travis Falk, obviously worked with you on to develop, but you do it. No, that's, that's a YouTube thing. That's a YouTube thing? Yes. Okay. Okay, here we go. Fuller on alley three. Box number three. Off right. to the left a little bit. Look at this, Dennis. He's the one three. A weak ball thrown to the left side. He made contact with the four pin, and look what he gets. A simple, well, not a simple, but a very easily made well, better, I better leave than could have been. <laughs> but maybe I shouldn't attack my words that way and say it's an easy block. It's, it's not as easy. Not as easy. Nothing's easy in this game. That's right. Uh, when he's not uh, bowling, he's uh, you can find him on the lake fishing or the ocean fishing, I would assume. Well, some people prefer lake over ocean or vice versa. I like it all. I'm an avid fisherman. Well, his least favorite shot is the eagle. Leaves the 6-9-10. Another version of the Mongo. 
And we found out last week Mongo's real name is Mike Thoreau. Well, hi to Mike Thoreau. Someday I'll meet you and thank you. You don't want to do that, wow. Mike. <laughs> Steve will talk your ear off. <laughs> <laughs> David, if it's got anything to do with Caleb and Baldwin, I'm there. The greatest sport that can be done by family or individual or teams or groups or whatever. And ladies, too. But we got to work on it for next year, Dennis. A ladies tournament. We would definitely have one if we had enough yeah. ladies that would show up. I mean, without enough people showing up, it's not even worth doing it because the prize money just yeah. isn't there. And the production costs. And everything. Right. It's just not there. Yeah, you have to have the interest. Oh, he's left just the two pin for a spare. Hold on, get a piece of wood rolling oh, back. Oh, maybe, maybe. Not hard enough. Now, Dennis, we saw last week a piece of wood roll into a pin and knock it down. This, to me, was about the same speed. But once again, I want to point out what you said. Only nice shot. a quarter of the dead wood hit the pin. Right. But before, you were absolutely he didn't right. Use a, he didn't use enough force. He didn't pull the string on it. Right. The force was not strong. Well, I'm only trying to point out to the viewers out there, you know, sir, angle of deflection. Working on a spare. Found the head pin and look at this. Oh, we will full on that. Two, four, seven, and the ten with a piece, two pieces of wood, one angled at the ten, and the other one just kind of like hanging out with a five pin should you be. You splitting these, David? No, I want to try to uh, run the ladder. He's, he's probably going to go yeah. out, so I don't know he's trying to split. Just missed, just missed the ball. Going out of Central Park for so long, he probably is just, you know, trained to go outside. Well, I, I talked to him uh, before the match about last week when he had the 6 and 10 up, and he said he was going to have to he doesn't go for the outside. He just oh, really? tries to split Open the box with an 8. After 4, Brian Fuller Jr. at 46, Brandon Marks at 41. Neither one have actually uh, dialed it up yet. Two marks out of, what, 8, eight boxes, boxes, 25%. Wow, this shot. Get off five. Wow. the head pin. Four, seven, five, and ten. Look at this with, monstrosity. With some junk on the deck. I'd probably go way right left. Of, I'd probably go to the right of that pin. Oh, wow, leave Great the pin. seven. He takes out three out of the four, and the one we thought would be the second most obvious stands. That's usually what happens. <laughs> <laughs> it's amazing. You hit your object. And, uh, Nine bucks. Puts him at 55 after five. Yeah, he's got to find it here. I've seen him bowl plenty. Trust me, he can find it in the blink of an eye. This kid, he, he just had the uh, knockout tournament, the New England knockout. Seven to eleven for five strings. Look at this. Look at this three pin. Rock and roll. You think it would fall down? You no. Know, now here's he, now here's an observation. Yeah. Okay. okay. Go ahead. hit me with it. On eighty percent of the time, when you see a bowler throw a ball right down the middle of the plate. And they know they throw a good ball and then they make that gesture like it should go. 80% of the time it does not go. Do you I'll notice that? that? Yeah. I'll, I'll agree with that. Excellent observation by Mike. I do it myself. I got the arms spread out. Mike. I've What's never, going on? <laughs> I've, never, I, I've never actually made that motion when I threw a ball on the middle of the plate like I should get a strike. It's usually after when I don't get the strike. Oh, oh, wow. oh, oh, there we go. Wow, that was an acme bomb. Wow, well, well, now, we're, now we're getting Somebody started. Clean up on Brandon, aisle three. Brandon Mox just destroyed them. Two out of three boxes with the mark. Let's see what happens. Lane number six, excuse me, lane number four. Box number six. Let's see what happens. Go for it. Oh, 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 double. It is a double, people. Beautiful. Roll. Oh, he's found it. Wow, that was faster than the first one. Oh, my goodness. After six, Brian Fuller Jr. at 65. Brandon Marks at 71. Oh, 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 oh he won. The crowd's getting into it. I love it. Yeah. He's off the two pin right. This is a big spare. This is a big, big spare shot. Oh, he played the outside. Now he's got it going. I told you, people, expect some high-scoring matches this whole round. This is what happens when um, you feed beer to pro bowlers. <laughs> Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Nice ball. Oh. Left the nine pin. 
Excuse me, you have nine pin drop. That's the five pin, pin with nothing around. Five that thing pin. looks like a toothpick right about now. Better known as the king pin. He yes, faced in the face. No, he hit it in the face. Yeah. It's not that he faced it. Hit in the face. Hit in the face means he faced it. Past tense. He faced it. It doesn't sound right, though. Oh, okay, fine. Hit in the face. Okay, he got it. I'm excited. He smacked him right in the face. He laid the okay. smack okay. down okay. on the fifth We got a triple going. We got a tricky going. Now we're with the get the triple right now. Let's see. We got to have a... How many triples have we had, David, on TV? Three, I think? Yeah. Three or four. Oh, oh, oh no, it's still working. Hold on. He's the high low jack with a whole bunch of jokers on the deck. He's got two jokers on the deck. He could probably pick this clean if he hits the left hand well, side of the head 20, pin. 27 pins in the six box brings him to 68. Oh, does he want this spin? Oh, a little wide. A little too far to the right. I saw what he was doing on there. He wanted to cap that one piece of wood on the end. Spin mm -hmm. it around, helicopter it around. Give it a ride, baby. Leaves the seven pin up, front line box. Oh, we got a game going, guys, huh? People out there in viewing lane, I hope you're enjoying this as much as I am. Yeah, it was quiet for a while, and all of a sudden, oh ba boom. Five out of six boxes. Somebody Eight. flipped the switch, and that's it. Oh, he's up there. Oh, oh, wow. oh, 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 explosion. Goodness. People out there in bowling land, three out of four boxes strikes. Oh, here we go. Oh, 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 is this can of bowling at its best? Full of working on our spare. And Brian. Oh, 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 look at this disaster. Come on now. Take another one. Take another one. Come on. Wow. Dave, I think we almost had it right there. Yeah, that was almost the stripper pole. A what? The That's stripper a, pole. A new phrase. Okay, well, we'll have to comment on it after this. Oh, 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 are you kidding me? Wow. He's had an eagle. That's our fourth or fifth attempt in the last two weeks at an eagle, and it just didn't go. That Deadwood's no good either. It's gonna hurt him. Oh, oh, nice. Nice. Wow. Yeah. One nut, 119 through. 119 after nine for four. Brandon Marks is 105, working on a strike after eight. Big ball, big ball, big ball. Oh, 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 half Worcester oh, left. It's pretty when it goes, Bull. He's got to uh, trying to qualify. Someone hit this, and it went like one. Speaking of the uh, <coughs> right, ooh. Speaking of the half, yeah, hold on. Look at this. He's gonna backdoor it. To uh, the one three. To bring up something in the past, my good partner over there did make the statement one time. He was gonna have a challenge that he would make eight out of ten people of their half whiskers, unfortunately. We just haven't got it done yet, but we'll uh, schedule it. We'll schedule you know, to it schedule. But they, schedule I was conflicts. thinking people are going to be waiting for this more than who shot Jr. Uh, they and, have they have plenty of King of the Palace to catch yeah. up on and watch. But it's the the excitement of watching you, the the the, the color commentator, go after this. Okay, here we go. Yes. Oh. Wow! Look at this mess. Wanted a double, but ball was there, just didn't deliver. The, oh, the two, four, and the, the six. One, one less, less nice. time, people, I promise you, the David Matala challenge will be taking place. I'll take late. care of it. Don't That's actually late. not too late. bad right now. September. That Deadwood okay. stays where it is. Come on, Bob. Yeah. 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 One, two, three, four, five boxes with Knox. Three strikes and two spares so far. Man, did he want that? He got it. His ninth box. He's working on his fill. He can put a little bit of distance between him yeah. and Fuller. He's ahead by what? Six Dennis? Plus box, the, uh, box to box, six pins. Plus the, plus plus the drop. Yeah, because uh, Brian had the ten box. Let's see what happens. Down the head pin. He did. What a dog. He's the six ten. He uh, this the, wood is all ugly. There's nothing deserved, good about this wood on this, this to shot right at all. On that. Actually, that backwood's covering. If you can hit yeah, that backwood, yeah. it'll cover or sweep it. Yeah. Nice. Oh, yeah. Fun. Yeah. nice. Three in a row. He's got the turkey. He's at what? 143 plus a ball. 143 plus a ball. Oh my goodness, people! Three mark talk about finding it. He was quiet yeah. for the first couple, then he just opened it up. Oh, he's the double. Both these guys. Yeah. Last week, Brandon started the first round with six marks, and this one he's got six marks. Ooh. Off to the left, yeah. that one in the ocean. Oh, it's still working, though. Look at this. He still got a five? Wow. Should have been two when he got five. So after the first string, Brandon Marks at 148, Brian Ford Jr. at 129. 19 pin lead for Brandon. Finishes with the turkey. 
Three marks in a row, 148 to 129. Excellent, excellent. De Dennis David, did, did you call the Dennis right from the beginning? We could do yes. the, uh, the question of the week. week? Uh, I've only bowled, I've only really bowled 10 pin and dabbed, dabbled in duck pin. Do they oil the lanes like they do in 10 pin? I bowled in some tough 10 pin houses with a tough shot. Maybe not so much with the different oil patterns, but is there some type of coating? Glenn R. Oh yeah, there's, I don't, I know candle pin bowling. Um, oh, Brandon open it up. Could be. You could have ordered a you could have ordered a lunch on that one. Look what's going on within between the last five boxes of the first string and this one. What? Six out of eight boxes, Max. To uh, answer the question, though, no. no oil, uh, I know Candlepin bo Candlepin Bowling. They don't they don't usually use uh, oil on their alleys. Why? Because they just don't. <laughs> They use an intent to the ball, grip the lane. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, but what's the difference in there? Because in 10 pin, you need the hook. Every, most of the people yeah, that right. bowl use a hook. There's no hook in candle pin. It's usually like straight That's on. Straight ball, yeah. Well, why do people throw a hook fell? in 10 pin? Because it's it easier strikes. Yeah. Because, it's because 10 pin isn't bowling. No, that's right. I agree with you there. Yeah. Well, no, wait a minute. One other theory, Dennis, it, it, then we'll drop it about 10 pin. I've been told the right thing to how many, how many pins, and what number pins does the ball touch? How many pins does the ball actually touch on the first ball delivery? Far up on alley three. Two. No, four. Four? Fuller, Fuller, has three, a, five, nine. Fuller has a lot of work to do. Okay, he's got to start rolling. Let's see what happens. Look, that's not too bad. But, yeah, yeah, but to, to finish the question, yeah. Glenn, Kimmelpin uh, bowling alleys, do some houses use different oils on their and then the 10 pin went down. Oh, he needed that. Mark. Oh, big, big ball here, people. So, Glenn, I hope I answered your question in a roundabout way. Oh, look at this. Wow, a little full on it. Fuller, a little full. Drops five. Boom, boom. Dennis, you go to the right. Four, seven. You go to the right side six, or the left. Three and six. Left uh, the deck. To the go to the right. Oh. Oh. Tries to get the little eight pin action. Wow, look at this. Leaves the two three. Very rarely seen, David. The two three. I very rarely seen. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, oh, nice. What a shot! Oh my goodness! Way to play the wood. Uh, while we get a break in the action, David, quickly, who was that last comment? You're gonna follow up on stripper pole. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm lost, people. I admit that, that, that you're truly the researcher, the knowledgeable man about cannabis. I have no idea what, what you're talking about. Brennan Marks on Alley Three. Oh, you want to tell me later on after year? No, I, I don't have no issues with with. Uh... Oh, look at this. Now we've had back to back. Okay, stripper pole is a name that I made up because what usually happens is like when you usually have a single pin standing up. Yeah. Right, and that pin comes rolling up by it, yeah. and it hits it, and it wraps itself around. Yeah. Call oh. that right. Okay. Thank you. Then no explanation taken. Oh, just oh. missed that. David, you know yours truly. I'm always interested in anything uh, to do with can open bowl. It's just a, it's just a, it's, 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 it's just a made up name. It's it's yeah, it's, it's, it's by, nothing by something. trade. You know, just things catch on. That's all. Nine bucks. There's nothing about the sport that yours truly doesn't like. <laughs> box to box, Brandon is up yep. 21 pin, 21 pins over Brian Fuller. And Steve, I found a book with a whole bunch of different things that you have no idea about. In can't open both. Great, get him going even more. Yep. Well, well that's it, came, it came out of it came out of the official Candle Pin Bowling Rules and Regulations. Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Beautiful pitch. Nice. Two out of four boxes, Brandon Maxwell strikes. Yeah, look at all these terms that you've never even heard of. Well, hit me with one. Here we go, man. Two, right in time. Get a little break in the action. Get my brain thinking some more. Seven, four. A lot of you think you'd give the break to the bowler? Okay, what's well, after the wood? He's got that. But that's you should have that locked. You talk about bowling people. Bowling's well, got some fans in the audience. Yeah. Oh, it's a big crowd. <laughs> Phenomenal bowling. 
Work down a spare, alley four. Up against the strike. Oh, Off to the left. Uh, dropped four. Well, he's got six up for this for a spare. He's got to throw the strike ball. I've said it a lot. One, three, five, six, nine, and ten. With a piece of wood up behind no, the nine. Strike ball. Oh, oh, wow. wow. Then, Dennis, he took the one on the nine up. Whoa. He had six pins up. Can I say it, Dennis? How does that happen? You saw it, people. I'll, I'll, I'll answer the same way I always do. Angle of deflection. Yeah, but he had six pins up. And he had oh, the it happens. Yeah. I know. After four, Brandon Marks at 46 working on a strike. Brian Fuller Jr. at 46. We'll get quick terminology here. Yeah, what's a dancer? A pin that bounces around. Ooh. Not, not bad. <laughs> Myself, I'm sure. <laughs> oh, yeah. Mr. Barry Horowitz. He pulls out the Barry Horowitz. Leaves the five pin with a joker up behind it. The kingpin for the spear. Boy, does he need this or want this spear and a strike. Let's see what this is happens. one thing that you don't want to play with that wood in the back. Oh, he's oh, all over. All over. He faced it. Excellent. Candle pin bowler. Brandon Knox. Smacked it in the face. Went 282 last week. And opened up with a 148 this week. And he's at what? Down 66 and I was working on a spare after five. After five. Unbelievable candle pin bowling. What's the pin total lead? Uh, box to box, 29 pins. Found the head pin again. And he's dropped. Come on. They're all wow. three out of the five are wiggling. And they stay up. They stay up. You hold think on, hold on. Him? That five pin looked like it might have went over. When the pin hit it. I'm sorry. Wow. Dennis, wow, sorry. David, junk. people, Candle Pin Viewing Land, sorry. The OEPD, sorry. They stood up. Oh, oh. it's the five pin. The one that should have fell. Yeah. <clears throat> nice oh, Brandon's got a pretty good lead on it, so all he has to pretty much do is uh, just keep doing what he's doing and, you know, Ten blocks. he's going to make full of work for it even more. Oh, here it is, people. Brian Finn, he's got to come back now. A little extra time there, people, I noticed. Lined up. Yeah, he needs to start striking. Dennis, you called it. You called it, Dennis, yeah. right there for the people. There it is. Got to have that double right now. Oh, want to give a, a double now. <laughs> want to give a shout out to our sponsor, North End Mazda Subaru, in Lunenburg, Massachusetts. Oh, is he gonna go? Oh wow, look at that. He leaves a seven eight with a whole bunch of crap on the deck. A good friend up there, Lunenburg, Massachusetts, Marty Babbin. I'm with. Visit buynorthend.com. Shout out to uh, Marty's brother who's watching out in Athol. That's right. You mentioned that. Yes. I go to the right of that front deadwood. This is Tries to he needs to He's going to the left. Oh, oh wow. wow. Going to the right. Helicoptered around the That's right, nine, Phil. <clears throat> Excuse me. Give a shout out to um, all the viewers on the local Access TV channels throughout the land. Um, all the YouTube and the Facebook viewers and fans. We appreciate everything that you do. You support Ken Lip and Bowl and you support our show. We can't do what we do without you. And of course, the bowlers. Absolutely correct. Yeah. The very first David. ever King of the Palace scratch match. And after six, Brandon Marks at 81. Brandon Jr. at 75. Like they, the King of the, the no. award winning King of the Palace scratch event. Oh, you called David. You developed it. You thought of it. You produced it. And here it is. Like again, you you said that before. And I just no, no, said, I just, I'm going to say it again. I, I just gave them what people wanted. Oh, oh, that, oh. that seven pin staying but up. The question is, David, who would have thought of it? Other than you. It would have happened sooner or later. Well, probably 20 years down the road. Nah. Maybe not, maybe 15. All right. Oh, just nine bucks. Puts Brandon at 90 after seven. I'll, give you a, I'll say it now. I'm giving you a little bit of a, a, a. Should I give you like one of my brainstorms that I have on? Yeah, true. For season four? Uh, either season four or season five. I don't know yet. Haven't decided. Have to yeah, work out the shoot. details. Yeah, we have a few things in the works for season four already. Ooh. All right, well. Of course, for season four, we're looking at either um, on the road, right? 80 uh, percent um, one month scratch uh, uh, the next month. Um, possibly looking at it, taking it on the road. But I'm actually entertaining the idea. Yeah. And I have to work out the details. Mm -hmm. I want to try to pull off. 
Come on, come on, come on. You get me on my. I'm gonna stand up in a minute. You got me some pausing for dramatic effect. I wanna. I wanna. I wanna see if I can't put together the very first. The very. The first ever tag team championship. Oh, of the palace. oh, great. I'll enter. I didn't even know about that one. I'll go with it. How, how, I've been like thinking my, about it. My, my, would it be a friend, friendship type thing? It, it, it would be whatever you want. Qualify and, yeah, people show up in teams. Show up. That's what I'm, th I'm, I'm thinking about it. See if I can't go down and, you know, Where work you out make, the details. You're going to make a second belt? Uh, I'm going to make two more tag team belts. Oh, nice. The door was, thinking about it. Door, See. That's good. Okay, let's recap here for, quickly for the people. Box to box, Brian Full is down 24. Yeah, He's yeah. up against an eight box, so he Duel definitely needs to mind right now. He buried the ball and left a vicious split. Oh. No, no, no. Wow. The no, Dread no, Eagle. No, no. This is, oh. this is Fuller's least favorite shot. Oh, my. But he's got some help. He's going to have word. a coronary over here. Oh, right through the hoop. he goes right. Just when you need it. Oh. Look at this, people. I have nothing to say. All I can say is, how does it? There's a first. <laughs> what the? Oh, it is. Oh, can pick it up this way. Almost made. Oh, well, leaves the seven. Nice try. Nice bit Talk on that. Talk about frustration. When you need a mark, you bury it and you leave that. All right. After eight, Brandon Marks at 98. Brian Fuller Jr. at 94. 23 pin lead for Brandon Marks. Brandon Marks obviously gets 17. Two boxes forces. Brian to get a double strike. So let's see that. See so I gave you guys a little bit of insight that Bob, might be coming Bob, anything to promote nice. the greatest sport in the world. Anything in the world. Wow, those are the better ball. Oh, I'm sorry. That's actually locked. Yeah. Yeah, he splits those. Yeah, yep. splits those two pieces of front wood. It should go. And he He is just putting the boot to, to Fuller. Oh. Opens up with a 148. He's got a 180. This is a pretty puck. close match, but with what Brandon threw the first time around. Oh, oh, oh half was still left. I know, Steve. I know. No, but, but I, I mean, the people want to be. I get calls all the time. They want to know when the Davis Cup shows all the <laughs> emails, everything. When's it going to happen? Nice. It will happen. It will happen by next in September. Steve, I'm surprised that you actually have a computer that's up to date that you actually get YouTube on it. Oh, I do. I do get I have to agree. It's the world's slowest computer. Right. <laughs> There's things in that. Even Tra Travis Falk. He still runs Falk, off of MS-DOS. <laughs> Travis Falk, the greatest outstanding executive producer, director, is also a computer expert. Even he told me it was junk. <laughs> <laughs> this is true. I brought it down to him. Brandon, him, him, Brandon him. finishes with a 118 him. for a two-string total of 266. Oh. This stuff happens on this computer. I have no idea what it is. Unresponsive plug-in. Brian Fuller okay. needs 44 pins in two boxes. <laughs> he's down 23 box to box, and he's up against a spare two eight. Well, that means he's hit. waiting for all that wood to settle down. He's going to need a double strike. No matter what he does here. He's still in it. He needs 34 more pins. He yep. needs a strike right now. Yeah. He doesn't strike, he's out of it. Right? A lot of pressure. Yeah. A lot of pressure on Brandon last week, and he pulled it off. First one. That's it. Brandon Marks will be moving on. Yep. Brandon Second Marks will be facing next week the number two seed in Richie Myrick. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. I said Richie Myrick, the defending 80% handicap king of the palace. Do we have a dual champion? We'll see. Yeah. He'd be the, he would be the very first. Final score, Dennis. Final score, Brandon Marks, 266. Brian Fuller, Jr., 244. Brandon Marks had five spares and five strikes. Brian Fuller had seven spares and one strike. Well, the strikes told the difference. The double strike really helped him. Great bowling by everyone. Thank you guys for um, qualifying and being on the show. And now let's get to the 11th box with uh, Dennis Nuzzle. Welcome to the 11th box. I'm Dennis Nuzzle, standing here with this week's winner, Brandon Marks. Brandon, another phenomenal match. You had 10 marks, five spears, five strikes out of the uh, two strings. What are your thoughts on the match? 
Yeah, I got a little fortunate. Luckily, uh, in the first ring, I got the double strike. That definitely pumped me up a little bit. Um, I faded at the end a little bit, and uh, Brian got some tough breaks. But uh, overall, I a little bit lucky and, you know, good bowling again. Well, great bowling, and I'll see you next week. Uh, you're bowling the number two seed with a roll-up score of 412, Richie Myrick. See you everyone then.